the Deep South, Starkville, Mississippi, and Davis Wade Stadium is the site for today's football game. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is run by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He fires. The quarterback threw it right into the hands of the safety. I can't believe he dropped it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Now he tries to buy some time. And they make the stop at about the 27-yard line. offense the right way it's almost like you have an extra wide receiver he's that good it's first and ten all on their own 40. well the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run that brings up second and 15. He's scrambling. Decides to slide. So we're looking at another third down here. Pulls in the pass and steps out. It's a first down for this offense that keeps everybody enthusiastic. You can see the momentum that this offense is gaining. Coaches and players on the sideline are fired up, and hey, it's a new set of down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Tackle at the 46-yard line, and the halfback's got nowhere to go. That makes it second and ten. From the 46-yard line, it's second down. He's going to try and scramble. They bring him down. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. Mike 17, Mike 17. That's a great tackle at the 48. Fourth and long here after the sack. Haynes to punt. He really got a hold of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. 
Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Here's the run right. He's got nowhere to go. Throws this one out to the left. The defender had it and then dropped it. Strong showing by the defense. You always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can. Coleman back deep to return. It's away and it's a booming punt. And down he goes at the 43-yard line. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He makes it to the 45-yard line. A couple of yards there by the tailback on the counter. That brings up second and nine. From their own 45-yard line, second down. Davis takes it right side, gains his way to the 46-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's on the run. Fumble picked up by the defense. He's at the 30. He's got an opening. Touchdown, Florida. It always makes you nervous anytime a defender tries to pick up a fumble and run with it instead of just falling on it. But man, did it work out for him here for a big time play in the score. He makes the PAT. for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's get some points going right now. Not a lot of offense here in the opening quarter. I'm with you. I'd like to see a lot more offense than we've seen up to this point. Give credit to the defenses, but I think you're going to see both these offense coordinators get more of a feel for things and start to adjust their play call. Well, let's see if the offense can make up for the misfortune they had just a few moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you, but it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. Second and 10. Ball on the 25. And he's level at the 35-yard line. Fires right side. Got his tailback. Inside the 30. And they push him out around the 20-yard line. That was a nice play. You know, we talk about this every week, adjusting to the blitz. The quarterback and the receiver do an excellent job of recognizing the blitz and adjusting to the play. Good-looking pass. Now it's first and 10 after the big pass play. And 
and they'll get him in the backfield. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He fights forward to about the 19. They'll line it up again on third down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. was a well-drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he hits the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Throws it to the outside. And he got it! Inside the 30. Tackle made at the 11-yard line. Yeah, a little bit too much air under that throw, but this receiver has the bounce you need to bring in those high passes. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Decent run here, right side. And he's tackled at about the five yard line. Third and five. Five yards to the goal line. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Florida is ready to kick it away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. They give to the tailback. He takes it right side for a good game. That makes it second and six. from their own 29-yard line. Second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. tackled at the 32. Good solid defense there to force them into a fourth down situation. That 
Haynes awaits the snap. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. And that one's incomplete. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Florida up seven points. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That makes it first and ten. From the 44-yard line, it's first down. He's knocked out of bounds around the 45-yard line. On the ground with the tailback. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And he picked up almost four on that halfback delay. Well, if you like offense, you had to have loved that first quarter of play. 14-7, Florida. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Florida is up seven. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Now well, they decided to go for it, but the defense slammed the door on him. That's the definition of coming through when it matters most. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. run there. Seven yard scamper on the keeper. They're about four yards away here on second down. Makes the catch and he's got nowhere to go. Nothing going on that play. Well here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. tries to buy some time and he's taken down at the 43 
So it's third down and they've got about two yards to go. Come out on an empty backfield. And they get nice yardage on that run. And this is the eighth play of the drive. for a loss. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. That makes it third and seven. They've looked good so far on third down in this drive. Let's see what happens here. He steps up. Fires that quickly, incomplete. He gets it up, and he splits the uprights. Mississippi State gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 27. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Florida holds a four-point lead. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. They'll give it off here. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Slings it, and they pick up two yards. This was just a little dump-off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. From their own 39-yard line, it's third down. Dumps it complete over the middle. And they make the stop at about the 49. That makes it first and ten. And down he goes at the 29. Quick pass. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Florida is up by four. Mike 7. 
Here he goes. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 26-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Five wide. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. So they're going to go for it here. On play action. They'll bring him down right around the 12-yard line. Tenth play of the drive. And he's tackled right away. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Throws it falling back and almost intercepted. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. This is the 12th play of this drive. Brought down around the two-yard line. The defense backed up into their own end zone. It's third and goal from the one. Florida is up four. And he just gets rid of it. Touchdown, Gators. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. The offense gets set to take the field. Last time out, they stuck it between the uprights for three. Throws it in a hurry. He gets hit out of bounds around the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Got a man open, bad pass. A little toss across the middle. Tackle at the 36 yard line. From their own 36 yard line. First down. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Draw play, and the defense was ready for it. And here's another third down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And he's going to come up with a sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Haynes to punt. Uh, uh, 
He's to the 40. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. The Gators are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. First and 10, ball on the 44. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle made at about the 31. He gets rid of this one. From the 31 yard line, it's second down. Quick throw. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. This is a great pitch and catch combination, and they hook up here for a big time game. Play fake. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Up the middle for a nice game. Davis gets six yards on the play. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They'll spread the field with five wide. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Knocked out of bounds at the 38-yard line. The quarterback dumped it off, and everyone did a good job of blocking up front. Doesn't get much better than that. And he's tackled at the 38. The Bulldogs call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Once and all, going deep. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. And he's leveled the 39 yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. Florida has called their final timeout. Haynes is waiting for the snap. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He fields the punt at the 16. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. The Gators took a while to get their offensive engine running. That baby's running smooth right now. You know, the offensive coordinator told us this week that they sometimes will start off a little bit slow because they're just kind of throwing out their different plays and formations, and then once they get a feel for how the defense is playing them, then they feel more confident that they can attack. And that's what we've seen so far today. They'll work the left side. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. We played a half. The Gators lead 
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. James Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both teams wanted to establish a running game. Both teams were stubborn in trying to do so, and neither team was successful. Did you get the sense the defense knew what was coming? Hey, dude, first and 10 means run. Yeah, I think, I think when you do it every single time, it doesn't really uh, make it hard for a defense to figure out. You can become much more aggressive. you got to take some chances. I, you want to stick with the run. You want to have that balance. But if you don't push the ball down the field, then I never have to honor it. So mix in some first down passes and runs. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf? Some extra turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. He's taken down around the 20-yard line. From their own 20-yard line, second down. He makes his way to about the 28. That's a deal. That makes it 37. He's in trouble. He wants it all going long. This one will fall incomplete. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Coleman, back to return it. And this one is a beauty. Tackle at the 33-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tailback brought down for a loss. That is a loss of one yard. That'll bring up second and 11. Second down and 11. Ball on the 32. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. There's a strike complete. That play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. Haynes awaits the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. That last pass was good for maybe five yards. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. From their own 38-yard line, second down. Let's go! 
Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down around the 48-yard line. First down. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Wants to go long and does. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. Touchdown, Florida! He's got three TD catches now. Yeah, this guy's in his own. He's catching every single ball thrown his way. Hits the PAT. A five play, 66 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Gators continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Scrambling around. He's wrapped up for the sack. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 24. Mike 17. Mike 17. He scrambled. He's got the corner. They'll bring him down at the 35 yard line. He's hammered. They're about four yards away here on second down. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. And down he goes, right around the 50. Scrambling. They'll make the sack. From their own 48 yard line, it's second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He might not be able to get the pass off. And they make the stop at the 48. They come out in an empty backfield. Catches it, and that's all. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. 
brought down around the 46-yard line. Big stop by the defense. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin him up and cause the turnover on downs. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. Yeah, this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. From the 48-yard line, it's second down. Florida in control. Tackle at the 36-yard line. Again with the run. He's pushed out of bounds right around the 30. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He fights forward to about the 29. That's a team. Nice run there. Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. If you can consistently get four or five yards at a pop, you know that you're going to have a functioning offense. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Tackle made at the 16. That brings up second and one. Check tight right, tight right, tight right. Go out there, check the outs out there. Three down, three down. The ten. Touchdown, Gators. Outstanding run and Great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. He makes the PAT. A seven-play, 53-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Mississippi State's getting stomped right now. They're unable to get anything going here in the third quarter. Well, I think what they have to do at this point is they've got to get into a little bit more of a hurry-up mode, a little bit more urgency, score, and hope that the defense can come up with a stop and hope you can get the ball back and put more points on. He's on the run. He's to the 40, and he is drilled at the 41. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. From their own 41-yard line, first down. He makes his way to about the 48. He's going to try and scramble. He's at the 40. He dives and he'll be marked down. From the 34-yard line. First down. Gets to about the 34-yard line. No game. That makes it second and ten.
He's scrambling, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And he's tackled around the 23-yard line. From the 23-yard line, it's first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. Steps out of bounds at the 18-yard line. Not that impressive of a play. Let's see if they continue to employ the short passing game or if they decide to run the ball. This is the eighth play of this drive. And he's hit immediately. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 10. They got to him before he could get back to the line. Lost of four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. That's three down and one to go. The Gators with a huge lead. Well, folks, we resume action here in the fourth quarter. We'll hope for some action because so far it's been a lopsided one. Mike 17, Mike 17, Now he tries to buy some time. He's tackled at about the 11. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Sure, they won't win it, but they haven't quit yet. That was a well drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And he adds the extra point. Mississippi State is ready to kick it away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Heading for the corner, the 50. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 46. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injury. Florida with a big advantage. Little handoff. Nice run there as they work the outside. From the 42-yard line, second down. He'll get it again, and he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. to throw outside. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. First and 10, ball on the 23-yard line. He's taken down at the 21-yard line. Big play, and it's first and goal. 
It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Five wide. And he makes it out to about the eight-yard line. Florida, up big. And they'll get him in the backfield. Still eight yards away. Now it's third and goal. And he's taken down around the two-yard line. They're already up big, and this could make the lead bigger. He gets it up, and he's got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It really has. They're dominating the point of attack. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. Well, you can really look around at the whole team's performance to see why they have this huge advantage. And it'll be interesting to see how much fight this team has left in them. This has been a brutal game. Let's it fly. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he's level at the 18. That's a loss of seven yards. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Man open, incomplete. It might not be a lot of fun, but when you're a receiver, you've got to be able to take some hits and hang on to the football. It's just part of the game. Haynes is waiting for the snap. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. This senior quarterback's having a great game, Kirk. Well, I think right now you can almost look at him, and it's, it's effortless. You know, he does a good job using his experience to be able to read the defense, and then he's getting rid of the football. The most important thing in, in, in playing quarterback is, number one, to be able to read the defense, be able to process that information, and then throw the ball with accuracy. And that's what he's doing. But I also think a big key to his success today has been the offensive line. Time and time again, they've done a good job of giving him the amount of time he needs back in the pocket to be able to read the defense and then make a throw downfield. So good job by the big guys up front. They'll get him for a loss. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 49. Florida comes to the line in complete control in this game. He might have a chance. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 42-yard line. Knocked out of bounds around the 36-yard line. First, down. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Zach 
tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a junior five on the play. That brings him second and ten. They'll bring him down around the 24-yard line. From the 24-yard line, first down. Runs right for a nice game. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. Taking back a yard. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. So we're looking at another third down here. Throws this one out to the left. And it's intercepted. That was just a sloppy pass, but for now, they can afford to live with it. First down. They've got their backs against the wall. to that quick and it's going the other way touchdown how about the play by the defender that was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown So the officials are going to take a look at some of the replay angles. And what they're looking for is whether or not the ball touched the ground before he had possession. We'll take another look at the play here. And I'll be honest, I couldn't tell if he made the catch or not. Man, from our angle, it was really hard to tell. I think this one could go either way. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands. The ruling on the field stands. It's a catch. Florida with a commanding lead. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Brought down at the 22-yard line. That brings up second and 13. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on their own 22. And they make the stop at about the 25-yard line. That brings us third and 10. Watch the slip. Watch the slip. Mike 17. Mike 17. Here's a handoff, and he's brought down right away. Haynes is the putter. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That brings him second and five. From midfield. Second down. Just under two to go in the game. Flags, 
He fights forward to about the 49. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of six on the play. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. This one's in the books, and our final score, Florida, 52, Mississippi State, 17. So that wraps things up for us, for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.